thing we'll do is just, you know, actually record the clip. So I've got a little staircase and you'll notice I don't have any socks on. I find that I get the best results generally either in bare feet or wearing the foot sensors over sneakers because the way we move in socks is very particular and it can give you some bizarre results. And you can see in that clip maybe that there were some issues, you know, when I had elevation tracking on and it was live and I didn't have a chance to do any of the editing. So here I am in Rococo studio and for this recording, you know, what, what you just watched that side by side, it had elevation tracking on during the recording. You can find elevation tracking in the details panel. Generally though, I, I don't have it on when I'm recording because elevation tracking is something that really only works in recorded clips. You can use it live, but it, because of the way that translation works in Rococo Studio, you're always gonna probably want to do some editing. So elevation tracking really isn't meant for live, you know, motion capture, something like VTubing or a performance on stage. You can try to use elevation tracking live, again, just toggle it in the details panel. But this is really for recordings that you've already done. 